Welcome to ASE exam practice test. Our topic today is manual drive train. Use the link in the description to download the app on the app store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of the following are the three critical clutch pedal measurements? A pedal height, apply pressure and free play. B pedal free play, reserve, and operating range. C pedal height, free play, and reserve. D pedal reserve, height, and kickback pressure. The correct answer is C pedal height, free play, and reserve. Explanation. There is no apply pressure adjustment, operating range adjustment or kickback adjustment. Number 2. Clutch slip page may be caused by which of the following? A worn or rough clutch release bearing. B leaking rear main seal. C excessive input shaft end play. D weak or broken torsional springs. The correct answer is B leaking rear main seal. Explanation. A leaking rear main seal will wet the friction surface of the clutch and cause slip page. Number 3. Which of the following must be replaced during the service of a hydraulically controlled clutch? A input shaft. B pilot bearing. C clutch linkage. D clutch fluid. The correct answer is D clutch fluid. Explanation. Clutch fluid is the only maintenance item listed. All other choices must be defective for replacement. Number 4. A vehicle comes in with hard shifting concerns, particularly into first gear. Technician A says the first speed blocking ring is the most likely cause. Technician B says the clutch could be out of adjustment. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is B Technician B only. Explanation. Technician B is correct because the clutch being out of adjustment will cause shifting problems, particularly in the lower range gears. Technician A is wrong because a defective blocking ring generally does not cause shifting problems into first gear. Number 5. A transmission grinds when shifting into reverse. Which of the following would be the least likely cause? A error in the hydraulic clutch control system. B. Not enough clutch pedal free play. C. Binding clutch linkage. D. Leaking or weak air servo cylinder. The correct answer is C. Binding clutch linkage. Explanation. If the clutch were binding, it would grind in all the gears and wear them out. Number 6. A burnt pressure plate may be caused by all of the following, except A. A damaged pilot bearing. B. Oil on the clutch disc. C. Not enough clutch pedal free play. D. Binding linkage. The correct answer is A. A damaged pilot bearing. Explanation. A damaged pilot bearing will not cause clutch slip page or failure, while the other options listed will. Number 7. A technician notices missing teeth on the flywheel ring gear. Which of the following is the least likely way to fix the problem? A. Replace the entire flywheel. B. Remove the flywheel and install a new ring gear. C. Use a MIG welder to replace the missing teeth. D. Send the flywheel out to a jobber for repair. The correct answer is C. Use a MIG welder to replace the missing teeth. Explanation. Using a MIG welder to replace new teeth is the least likely repair and not a proper repair. Number 8. Any misalignment of the bell housing or flywheel can cause which of the following? A. Vibration. B. Soft pedal. C. Too much free travel. D. Clutch slipage. The correct answer is A. Vibration. Explanation. If the bell housing is out of alignment, the powertrain is twisted and can vibrate. Also, an out-of-balance flywheel will cause a vibration. Number 9. Technician A says the driveshaft must be clamped tightly in a vise to replace the U-joint. 
Technician B says the drive shaft must be supported by jack stands before removal. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is D. Neither A nor B. Explanation. Both technicians are wrong. Technician A is wrong because clamping a drive shaft into a vise tightly will damage it. Technician B is wrong because you do not support a drive shaft with jack stands because this will prevent its removal. Number 10. All of the following should be performed when checking transaxle bearings, except A. Dry the bearings by spinning them with compressed air. B. Clean rough bearings, then dry, lube and recheck. C. Check transaxle bearings by rotating them as you feel and listen for roughness. D. Lightly oil them before checking. The correct answer is A. Dry the bearings by spinning them with compressed air. Explanation. For safety reasons, you never spin a bearing with compressed air because it could explode causing serious injury. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.